My name is Sasha Jenkins. I'm from Queens, New York. I'm here in the UK. I feel like a rock star. Just my film, Fresh Dress, just played at the London Film Festival. Well, growing up as a kid in the inner city in New York, uh, fashion was always a big part of, and still is a big part of, the identity of young folks in the inner city. Um, I've been writing about hip hop for many years, producing books and television about hip hop for many years, and I'd realized that there hadn't been a film that explored uh, the importance of fashion and used fashion as a platform to talk about a lot of bigger picture issues. Um, and fashion is something that's uh, relatable. Uh, a lot of people connect with fashion, and so I felt it'd be a great primer to get into what created hip hop. You know, hip hop was always a reaction and a reflection of society at large, and how folks of color, uh, black and brown, in New York uh, reacted to uh, the environment that they were in and, and how they remain uh, create, creative. And I wanted to uh, make a film that touched on all of that. So. Yeah, I wanted to have a real balance. You know, we've got great, powerful megastars like Kanye and Pharrell, but we also have former gang members and everyday people on the street. You know, I wanted the film to be a real reflection of what hip hop is, and hip hop is not just famous rappers. Hip hop is the people who are expressing themselves on the street. Um, as a journalist, I had a lot of uh, long-standing relationships with publicists and artists. My producing partners, uh, uh, particularly Peter Bittenbender, uh, he really focused on a lot of the bigger names. And of course, having Nas as an executive producer on the film, he makes a phone call. You know, uh, he gets us in P, P. Diddy's house, which he did, and the interview in the film was you know, P. Diddy sitting on his couch. So it was a combination of, of the team, the producers, you know, making the film and getting it done. Yeah. Excellent. Well, you watch a lot of footage, and you have folks who are on your team who really know what it is that you look for watching footage. And then I had an amazing editor. Uh, Andrea B. Scott, who was a nice Jewish girl, a nice Jewish woman, excuse me, from New Jersey, who knew a little bit about hip hop, but the fact that she didn't know as much as me was really important because her questions were the questions of folks who know nothing about hip hop. And so I wanted to make a film that was true to the core of the foundation of where I come from, be it as a journalist or as a kid growing up in New York City, but I also had to, you know, it was produced in conjunction with CNN and CNN Films and would eventually air on CNN proper, I had to make something that would connect with a really broad audience of people. And so uh, our editor was also a crucial part of wading through the stuff that I thought was cool and was important and she'd be like, well, wait a minute, like, that might be a little too fringe. Like, let's stay focused on the story that we're trying to tell. So, I had a great team. Yeah, I mean, I think hip hop is the new rock and roll. You know, initially rock and roll was scary. Rock and roll was a scary thing. It was these people, these savages, making this savage, satanic, scary music. This is going to really, you know, hurt us. It's going to hurt our children and destroy the nation. And then all of a sudden, Elvis, the poor white kid who grew up in the projects, embraces it. And then he becomes the poster child for it. Um, and so then rock and roll went from being this really scary, dangerous thing to this American thing. And the same thing has happened with hip hop. You know, hip hop went from this really scary, oh my god, the projects. Where is this coming from? And now, you know, I work with. You know, um, we publish a magazine called Mass Appeal, and I work with lots of young kids. Some of them are Caucasian, 19-year-old uh, kid, you know. Do you like Led Zeppelin? No. You don't like the Beatles? You don't like... No. My first music was DMX, you know, or they grew up on hip-hop, you know. So hip-hop has become the new rock and roll, and it is something that is embraced by so many people. It's language, it's, it's style, it's, 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 a, it's a sentiment. And because it's expanded the way it has, it's very natural to, for it to be a part of film or fashion or candy. You know, hip hop can be so many things. I think it's 
uh, for a documentary filmmaker, you know, it's like, I, this is my first film, so I can tell the, you know, you can't tell me anything now. I'm a filmmaker. I know what it takes, you know. Here's the advice for you. But really, from what I've learned, it's story telling and knowing how to craft a story that invites a lot of people in. And, you know, again, I worked with a great editor. If I had it my way, I would have went a million different places. But I had a dialogue with someone who I collaborated with and that person and the team around me or the team that we assembled really helped me to go beyond all of this stuff I know really well and not take for granted that I know this stuff really well and other people don't. And so to me, the core of it is focusing on telling a story that is clear, concise, compelling, supported by interesting people uh, with facts. It's not really about um, preaching your gospel to people. It's about, my gospel's in the film, but in each section, you can take away from it what you want. And so it's not really about me, the filmmaker, telling you what it is that you should think. It's me, the filmmaker, saying, here's all the research I've done. Here are all the people I've talked to. Here's how they feel about this. And it's all within a structure that is easy to follow and easy to help you, the viewer, process where the director is coming from. So I don't know all there is to know about cameras. I don't care. That's not my job, I don't think. I think my job is to really focus on understanding the story and speaking with the people who can help me tell the best possible story.